the ranch exists to demonstrate an entire suite of sustainable and holistic ranching practices to increase the bottom line and increase the health of our, our land. What we're trying to do is look at what are the constraints or the issues, problems in some of these tributaries at the level of natural resource management and find out how we can tackle those problems. And we need to tackle those problems hand in hand, working cooperatively with the landowners. Now when you, when you purchase a piece of property or a ranch, I mean, the most important thing you have is the water. The Clark Fork Coalition has um, an established in-stream flow program where we work with individual landowners to put together water rate right transactions that will result in more water in-stream for fish. You know, there's a huge demand for water everywhere in the United States anymore, whether it's here in Montana, California, I mean, every, water's an important issue. I mean, there's not making any more of it. I mean, it's, it's a hard commodity to come, come by. The fish need more than just a clean river. So what we've done in this area is select some areas that we want to focus on. Today, we're shutting down our diversions, turning that water back into the creek and back into the river and we're actually going without for the second half of the summer. So what we're losing there is a second cutting on our alfalfa fields, but we are being compensated for it. We're being compensated in the amount of our lost production. It's a really good thing from an agricultural perspective for us, and uh, it's also a good thing for the river because we're gonna be able to put in total around 10 cubic feet per second back in the Clark Fork during the driest time of the year. Cottonwood Creek runs right through downtown Deer Lodge. And so it has a high profile as far as local people are concerned. The Watershed Restoration Coalition has been involved in, in working on Cottonwood Creek for several years, trying to identify project opportunities. So this project uh, has several components which are important for agriculture and several components which are important for native fish. It's a project that allows the rancher to irrigate his hay ground with an automated irrigation system that he can regulate and he can apply water so efficiently that he gets a better hay crop than he would with flood irrigation. What we've got going in right now is a pipeline, 15 inch plastic pipeline, which will bring water in at the original point of diversion from the creek and then filter that water through a screen because the screen is going to get clean water into that pipeline, into those sprinklers so they don't plug up. But at the same time, this type of system will save a lot of fish that would otherwise be diverted down a ditch or into the pipeline. That's why it has a dual purpose that benefits the environment and benefits the farmer. We're all ranchers and we want to continue to do it, so we want you know, we want to keep the water in the river and, and do things like that to, to make it last as long as we can. We didn't have any expectations when we went in. We put seven pivots on, but six pivots are off a of racetrack creek. The seventh one is a spring, so it's, it's definitely saved time and money. The fisheries are important, particularly in racetrack creek, um, because they support native populations of West Slope cutthroat. We've been able to acquire approximately 430 acre feet out of Racetrack Lake. Our interest in this is trying to see if we can keep Racetrack Creek wet and connected throughout the irrigation season. What the Clark Fork Coalition wants to see up here is healthy working lands, clean streams, and a bright future for the Deer Lodge Valley and the entire Upper Clark Fork region. So we've got to work hand in hand with those landowners on these tributaries to put more water back in the tributaries and for the habitat along these tributaries to be improved not only for the fishery but for wildlife and for water quality.